so let's solve this problem so given this diagram and from this diagram so this is an example of a parallel circuit then in the parallel circuit to find the total resistance so this is the formula and to find the total current and also to find the total voltage so from this given to complete this table so we have this 65 volts for the total voltage then for resistance 1 that's 14 ohms resistance 2 that's 11 ohms and resistance 3 that's 19 ohms then since in the parallel circuit all the voltage are equal so therefore this voltage 1 is also 65 volts voltage 2 65 volts and voltage 3 also 65 volts then to find now the total resistance from this formula so 1 over the total resistance equals 1 over the resistance 1 plus 1 over the resistance 2 plus 1 over the resistance 3 then to simplify so we have 1 over 14 then plus 1 over 11 then plus 1 over 19 so equal so that's 625 over 2926 then to find the total resistance so take the inverse so this is equal to the total resistance equals so also take the inverse so this becomes 2926 over 629 and to simplify so 2926 divided by 629 equals so that's 4.65 so the total resistance is 4.65 ohms then this time we can solve now for the currents so using this formula so current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance so for this current so we have 65 divided by 4.65 equals so the total current is 13.98 amperes then for the current one so again 65 divided by the resistance that's 14 equals to that's 4.64 amperes then for this current two so we have the voltage divided by the resistance equals so that's 5.91 amperes and for the last one so we have 65 divided by 19 equals to so the 3.42 amperes.